This segment of the news is brought to you by Sun Oil Limited. When Prime Minister Dr. Hubert Minnis was in opposition, he vowed that if elected Prime Minister, he would hold a referendum on capital punishment and that he'd do it in the soonest possible time. Well, since then, things have changed. As Press Secretary Anthony Newbold put it during the weekly press briefing on Tuesday, that's not a priority item at this point. Now, this referendum Dr. Minnis spoke of on the campaign trail would seek to amend the constitution to remove the London-based Privy Council as the country's highest court of appeal for murder convicts. Capital punishment hasn't been carried out in the Bahamas since David Mitchell met his fate at the gallows. The convict was hanged in the Fox Hill prison on the morning of January 6. Mitchell had been found guilty of fatally stabbing two German tourists. Now, news from the courts this evening. A 32-year-old alleged murderer is jailed. Palm Beach Street resident Brinson Jean was formally charged with the killing of Anton Pierre on September 2nd last year. Jean was not required to enter a plea and was remanded to the Palmas Department of Corrections until February 1st when he returns for a voluntary bill of indictment. Also spending time on remand is a defense force officer who was arraigned on gun possession charges. 33-year-old Anthony Jean Jennings, seen in green shirt, was charged along with 35-year-old Jason Nottage in the orange shirt with possession, in, with possession of an unlicensed firearm. It is alleged that on December 4th, while in New Providence, the pair found in possession of a black 9mm Taurus on the same day they were found in possession of 12 unfired rounds of ammunition. They pleaded not guilty to both counts of and were remanded to the Department of Corrections until February 5th. 2018 when they will return to court for trial. Finally, 42-year-old Kayron Gibson also stood before Deputy Chief Magistrate Andrew Forbes, charged with one count of possession of an unlicensed firearm and one count of possession of 10 unfired rounds of ammunition. Gibson pleaded not guilty to both charges and was denied bail and remanded to the Bahamas Department of Corrections until his trial is scheduled for February 26, 2018. Now, an island-wide manhunt for the gunman behind an overnight shooting that's left three men wounded. Police say they were alerted to the incident shortly before 9 last night. Reports are that the victims were in the area of a park on Nichols Court, Yellow Elder Gardens, when a gunman opened fire before taking off. At last report, the wounded were all in stable condition. Investigations are ongoing. Meantime, another man's arrested after being found with an illegal firearm. Intelligence-led officers searched a car wash in the area of Mackey and Primrose Streets yesterday and found a Glock 21 pistol and 13 rounds of ammunition along with marijuana. Well, Travis Robinson, again on the defending end, this time for allegations circulating on social media that he extorted a government contract worker in his constituency. The Bain and Grantstown minister said those allegations are false. Well, the only comment I have to that is those comments are totally false. They are fabricated. They have no merit. Um, I continue to work hard for the people inside my constituency and the Prime Minister stands behind the work that we have begun and we are going to see it through to completion but there is no uh, further comments on that. It's simply fabricated by um, I don't know who, it doesn't matter for, because my focus remain on the constituency at this time. Now when pressed as to if he had a meeting with the Deputy Prime Minister on those allegations, he said he has not and this is likely a political attack. No, there is no meeting with the DPM on this issue. Um, in fact, it was a total shocker to me. I mean, again, I understand that we are in a political climate and the uh, opposite operators will do whatever they think is necessary to attack uh, myself, my character, or whatever it may be. But I stand firm on, on the truth that these statements are totally fabricated. Our final stories are up next. This segment of the news has been brought to you by Sun Oil Limited.